It's officially a Sunday of our second week on the trail. We're in Langley right now. We made it here in about an hour and a half from uh, the outside of Surrey. Bobini, Bobini. You're pretty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually have to find a church that is just outside of Langley, about maybe seven kilometers or so. Hopefully it's good enough to stay. If not, we will search and we will continue to walk until we find something. One man, one dog, one wagon. What happens next? Nearly in Abbotsford, met some kids. One of the kids is wearing a shirt that said, Saved by Grace, brought to Matthew 5. 17 to 19 to him and from that grace from that faith we are faithful and faithfully walk we must do the law is the way we know that we are walking faithfully with god it was a blessing to speak to these kids Early bird gets the worm. Today's the start of the second day of the second week. I'm feeling healthier, happier, more motivated right now than I have in a very long time. There's supposed to be some rain probably tomorrow. That's always uh, an issue. I think that's going to be the biggest issue on this walk is the rain element. Well, tonight's a uh, pretty sad ending. We uh, basically just get kept getting kicked out of every place we went to. Uh, went into the thrift store and bought a fair, fairly good amount of stuff. And well, the moment I step out, the security guard says that we have to leave. I mean, of course, we've got a dog, a cart, a bag. We look homeless, which by technicality, we are. Um, but just this Abbotsford, where we're at very inappropriate uh, way to handle um, even if we were homeless it's rude and it's uncalled for
just barely made it alive. So we're in Abbotsford at the very edge. We are about to leave along that road right there and walk about 40 kilometers to Chilliwack. It will be the first portion of our trip where we don't have any access to re resources outside of what's in our car. Zachary, are you scared? I am not scared. I'm well prepared. I've got a fanny pack full of food. I'm good to go. He's got Laura bars, Cliff bars, and he's even dropping mad bars. Oh, zooming Welcome through the sky. Bird. Thank you. Enjoy your <laughs> that was a bar. go up there, I'm going to come across, I'll take Cobain, and I'm going to take her up the rest of the way. It's about three minutes past sunset. Everything is soaking wet, except their stuff. I mean, not all of it is. We're about 45 minutes away from a church, and when we get there, we're going straight to sleep. We have a flat tire, but that's okay, because honestly, the atmosphere of the fog over those mountains, it is really wonderful. All right, so we walked about 30 kilometers today. We're just outside of Chilliwack. Cobain is a tired puppy. Yeah. So Zach, what are you offering me right now? Chicken wiener. Yes, but what what's so special about this chicken wing wiener? It has no pork in it. So no, it's no. What's food. what's really special about this chicken wiener bag is that there's two left, and Zach is so generous that he's gonna offer me both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Cross the tracks. What are we trying to do right now? We are still currently looking for a spot to sleep. Yes. Alright, so that was the church that we were trying to uh, set up at tonight. Turns out that it's apparently highly securely guarded. They have proximity centers and motion detect detectors and uh, sound alarms. And, um, Security guard rolled up mm, about five minutes after I set up my tent, took off my first boot. Zach, too, had his first boot off. And uh, we got kicked out of there. So, we're looking for another church. The 
issue of trying to find a place to sleep at night. We're really cramped with a bunch of stuff in here tonight because outside there was a bunch of homeless people who were staring us down. They looked like they were hiding in the bushes after a little while. And uh, it was uh, definitely, they, they wore out their welcome of looking at our area. Hey, so, uh, Zach, this is Jordan, and obviously I'm Justin. Jordan's helped us really step out. I was amazed by people wanting to go across Canada with the gospel. Never heard of this. And we're walking towards into the Save On Foods, and we're scanning all the people, and God highlights a guy that was standing just right behind us here. And uh, we say uh, we're doing a random kindness for people today. Is there any kind of uh, pain or health problem you have? And he's like, oh, yeah, I got pain all throughout my body. I've had so many traumatic things. and. He says, actually, I just came from a, a First Nation healing kind of uh, thing. We asked him about his pain. He said he's got pain all over. Yeah, he, so at first he couldn't even raise his shoulder. He prayed once. And he goes like this in this big pop. And then he says, and other places in my body are popping two other joints. It might have been, so you prayed a second time. Yeah, I prayed a second time. And he, he noticed something else was going on. So he started raising his, his head, hand up to scratch his head. And uh, he was pretty amazed that um, something was actually happening with him. So we shared the gospel with him. And he was definitely interested. Yeah, he wasn't fully ready to surrender to Jesus yet. Uh, he was the direction he, was that he went to a, a retreat where people told him that he was about to meet some uh, important people in his life to help, help push him in the right direction. Anybody who'd like to pray for him it would be a blessing if you guys just prayed for, for his, his deliverance and um, that the seed may grow in his heart. Are you guys cool with that? We're all trying to agree on when we're going to stop tonight. It's a hard decision. When do you think you're going to stop tonight, Zach? I don't know. Me neither. What do you think about that, Jesse? I think I could walk for about 48 hours straight right now. <laughs> So, Zach, what's currently the issue preventing us from crossing this bridge? The cart's too wide, and it's up on a hill like there's a lift, so we can't get the cart up because it'll be on an angle. It's gonna, it's gonna be curb riding the whole way through. And there's posts in between. And there's posts in between. So, is this expert level Frogger, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, there's no cars coming this way. Should we just run across and try to, try to risk life and limb for that way? Uh, we got a free taxi ride across the bridge. Uh, the guy was pretty excited to hear about what we're doing, so he drove us across the bridge. We walked into town and slept at this park. My brother left the group. He's gone off to do his own thing. He may join us again in the future, but he wishes us the best of luck. Uh, Zach, Zach do, you have any, do you have any closing words? You know, uh, don't just have faith, you gotta live it. ended up going out and we went to a school uh, we told them God is real that uh, they need to call in the name of the Lord Jesus to be saved and that the, the school institution is lying to them uh, we quickly got evacuated from the property we didn't film it uh, for a few different reasons that are 
uh, personal, encumbered by what we're doing, thinking about it, thinking it's about us, instead of realizing that it's about him. So, Highway 7 to today, all right, straight through to Hope. Zach, aren't you supposed to take off your sweater too? <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> so Zach, hello. How is the leg chafing? I shouldn't have got rid of that baby powder. Today is our second full day in Hope. We just organized everything from the cart into these strollers and have removed probably another 10 pounds worth of stuff. Oh, the last week has been definitely interesting. Um, this morning we met a girl who was looking for um, safety because she was worried that her abusive ex-boyfriend was following her and we ended up having a conversation with her about uh, Yeshua and uh, she was a Christian. We encouraged her to make things right with her and the father again because she's into some stuff right now that um, is a little dangerous for her soul. So I'll just leave her nameless but if you could uh, please pray for her, we'd appreciate that. Thank you. If anyone is uh, interested in giving us some advice on how to edit these videos, what they're interested in seeing, I'd appreciate that very much. Uh, this week I've learned a lesson that I need to step out more out of my shell and look for those opportunities that Yah might be giving me, but I might just not be willing to accept in the moment. So I just encourage uh, people to pray for me on that and that I may have the strength and um, power to witness properly in, in all situations. and. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.